I was a huge Evil fan. Uh, one of my biggest influences, really. And uh, yeah, he, he's he's you know my love of Evil has caused me a lot of injuries. <laughs> uh, specifically, I broke my gym dog because of Evil. <laughs> and um, that's in the film. And then gym dog, I guess, is my penis. Yeah, well, we did no less than 60 interviews, so although uh, I knew quite a bit about evil, and Johnny knows everything about evil, um, we still learned a lot of stuff that was pretty amazing, and it's in the film. First of all, what an inspiration he was to so many people and how that's influenced this generation. You know, I, I don't believe you'd have the X Games without evil Knievel. In, and, you know, you could have done a whole documentary just on his life before he started jumping. I mean, he was a real handful, uh, you know, a lot of, lot of bars in uh, Butte may have gotten broken into, a lot of, you know, safes may have been cracked in maybe, Butte, maybe. maybe, but I mean, such an, he's one of the greatest characters of the 20th century, uh, and we tried to cover the, the inspirational aspects of him and the, uh, you know, the rowdy aspects, and also, like, be honest, what kind of person he was and what kind of life he lived. Uh, we wanted everyone to have the complete story. Yeah, no, we collaborated with the Knievel family to make this. And, and in, in the nearly 60 people that are in the film, there's people from all walks of his life. And, and some people that were part of the darker chapters as well. Obviously, we want to protect our family members. We have a certain vision of them. But I think the people who are most protective of the Knievel you know, legacy is, is, all, is my generation who grew up with him. But I think the film is you know, it shows the complexity, but ultimately it pays homage to what, what this guy did for our culture. There's some revelations, like big revelations in the film that I, I didn't know about before uh, embarking on this film. And uh, A lot of people think they know what happened at Snake River. You know, Snake River was, was like the centerpiece of Evil's career. Um, when you watch this film, you're going to know exactly what happened, especially behind the scenes. Yeah, there's one big revelation that I, I, I don't even know if we can say how it came about, you know. Yeah. It was kind of told to him off camera and after he got finished interviewing the guy and, and he said, oh, by the way, and he's like, what? What? Get, set the cameras back up. <laughs> so uh, we were very fortunate to get that bit of information and so many other things. You know, he, when people went to see Evil Jump, they weren't there to see him land it. And that's always in the back of our head on Jackass. No one's there to see us land a stunt. <laughs> so if we land it, we're going to do it again until we fail, because that's what really is satisfying to everyone, including us. So we really latched on to that, and you know, and if, if Evil said he's going to do a stunt, no matter what the consequences, it's Snake River. Like two of the tests failed, well, one on purpose, but and you know the winds were terrible. He shouldn't have been jumping that day, but. He still jumped, and there was such a, even if, at the best case, there was like a 10% chance of him making it. it we made the film with uh, a &E Network, with the History Channel. Um, it'll, it'll ultimately end up there. But, uh, you know, this is a theatrical film, and we want people to experience it on the screen, not just here at Sundance, but really hoping for a theatrical deal. Yeah, is there any distributors uh, in the house? Yep. <laughs> okay, we'll, th we'll talk to you in a second. Honestly, I think Eva would think of Jackass. I think it was, I think he would think it's silly. And I don't think he would be that really excited about it. Uh, but, you know, Matt Hoffman, one of the producers on this film, he was friends with Evil. Matt Hoffman, in my mind, is the evil can evil of our generation. And Evil had a lot of respect for Matt. And as I do, you know, I, I love Matt. And uh, so, but I, I, I don't think Evil would be running down to the theater to catch Jackass. <laughs>